In this video, we tackle the left hand side of the beaver panel. And this is how I did it. Okay, we have the tongue out, and I think I can get that out, but this brace here has been welded up there, so I think we'll leave that there, and we'll get that sucker off. Well, that was much harder than it should have been. Uh, need about 47 adapters to reach the bolts. And then, of course, the socket was a half inch drive and uh, needed a quarter inch drive and we had to jimmy some stuff together. I don't know where I put it now. Ah, there. So, now we can Start the grinding again. Or removing of the paint at least anyway. We'll uh, catch you up and see what this side holds. Okay, I have stripped back the paint off the left hand side of the beaver panel and it's not quite as bad as what the right hand side was, but we still have issues. No good. No good. Little bits over there. The ones over here. That's just a little hole. We can probably weld that up, but we'll have to cut that piece out there because there's a bracket behind there. Same here. Uh, the inner structure looks good. But that looks bad. And if we get to this section here, we've had a previous patch panel. And probably gonna although the metal is not too bad there behind it is rusty but maybe we'll cut that bit out first and have a look inside before we decide what to do like we're a little bit rusty under there so we're gonna have to do something there again this piece here is no good that's the hole for the uh, license plate light now we had a rust section there before we took the paint that is part of the tow bar and you can see there's another one there but all in all it doesn't look too bad I think though under here we may have a problem yes we do we have a hole there that we need to attend to and one there. Now, we had one on the other side, but this whole side here along this seam was full of filler. Why they just didn't put seam sealer in there and put filler, I don't know, but uh, that's probably the reason why that's gone. Not that. But, hopefully not as much work as the other side. It's gonna be similar. Uh, we've got no rust around the tail light around there, so we don't have to do any repairs here. 
or here. Maybe a tiny one there. That shouldn't be too hard. But yes, this is probably the worst spot here. Uh, I can see the metal behind there. It's not too bad. So maybe here we only have to do a tiny section. It's just been tacked. And then 85 litres of filler put over the top of it. But that's what it is. And we'll work through it. I have sanded back this rear quarter and lucky for me, no surprises. So it's time to start working out what repair we're gonna do first. I'm gonna start with this one under here. We'll cut that out and see what it looks like underneath. As is with all rust, it's always bigger than what you think it is. So we'll probably cut out four times bigger than what the rust hole was. So I'm gonna patch that up and for some reason underneath that was just seam seal. So all right, that bit is in. That was hard work. I do not recommend welding on your back and grinding on your back it's quite difficult but that's the lowest part of this section that we're gonna have to do and we'll move on to the next one which will most likely be that bit okay friends we have repaired that section there that was just a uh, small piece of steel that we uh, bent up to match that radius there so next on the agenda I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this one. Uh, as it hasn't rusted all the way through and we've got a bit of steel on the back of it, so I'm just gonna try welding it up without cutting it out because we've cleaned all the rust and stuff out of it. So we'll just try and fill in the pitting. See how we go. If it doesn't work, then I'll cut it out and we'll put a new piece in. See how we go. Well, my friends, that worked very, very well. So the reason that I wanted to test that is because if you come and look in here, this boot channel here is very pitted. Like all the rust and everything's gone. I put a few tacks in it as well to check and the, and the uh, tacks are holding. So I think there's enough steel there that we can just put a little bit, bit of weld in there and build it back up to uh, normal size channel so that's good so very happy with the way that one turned out now we need to turn our attention to this mess down here uh, probably let's tackle the big bit here hey we'll start with this big piece here well 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 I have cut that rusty piece out and I thought to myself that still looks pretty good I'll start cleaning it up it's very pitted there's still a bit of steel there but we've gone this far let's just cut the whole lot out and I also thought I'll keep this previous patch panel but that is rusty behind there so let's just get rid of that too. So we'll probably end up going all the way to about here. Because that still looks good there. Up here, we're all good till about here. So we'll cut that out there. And along there. And we'll just replace the whole lot, eh? There's no point stuffing around doing half the job. While we're in here, might as well do the full job, eh? Bit more work, but it sounds good to me and we won't have to come back at a later date. Let's get on to it. I just cut a little bit extra off the bottom here and look, it's not even attached. 
Yeah, it is pretty uh, flimsy, so I think it's a good decision that uh, we're taking it out. There's also a big piece missing there. And there's so much seam sealer in here. I can't believe it. Look at that crusty goodness. Now the patch panel itself doesn't have much rust, but it was welded over the top of the old rusty goodness, which hasn't helped anything. Well, at the moment, I've cut out all I'm gonna cut out because this patch panel is actually really, really thick metal and it's still good. It's coated behind it, so I'm gonna keep it. So I'll just re-weld that where I've cut it. Uh, so we're gonna do this, probably this piece, one piece, and then we'll uh, put a back, the back bit in and then we'll put the bit over the top and then we'll come back and do this section here and then that section there. And we're pretty much done here. So nowhere near as bad as the other side, pretty bad, but that's cleaned up all well. Bit of uh, rust converter on there and Bob will be our uncle. As well as a bit of, uh, you know, primer on the back to prevent this happening in future. So I am glad that I cut out that bit because if you look at the back of this is the uh, other rust repair section so it's coated with whatever that white stuff is but it was just welded over the top of the original metal and there's not much left of it so we had to get that out because it was making a mess of this of, of that which goes in there so that's the plan. I think I'll start with that bit. No, I think we'll start with that. See you soon. Well, I said before that this uh, patch panel was welded over the top of the other one and it's made it uh, moldy. If you look underneath here, that piece is pretty good. That's why I'm going to leave it and not redo the whole thing because it's in good shape. It's not rotten or anything. So I'm going to leave it be and just focus on what I've cut out here. Just, you know, if anybody's got any doubts about what I'm doing. All right, after many hours of labor, we have that section welded in and ground back. A uh, few little uh, areas we need to fix up with a bit of uh, filler, but nothing too uh, major. Now the next bit we'll do is, we'll cut up. I tried to weld that up there, but uh, it's too far gone. So we'll zip up here into there and then maybe we'll go across there to about where the uh, circle is, or the bumper bolt. We'll cut that out and we'll make that. And I also tried to uh, zip that one up too, but that didn't work, so. <laughs> cut that section out as well and, but 
we'll do that one first. Here's a hot tip for you. When you're uh, doing stencils and stuff, don't throw them out because they can uh, come in pretty handy. Now I've just cut off this little bit here and that one from that side fits into that one. Pretty clever. Quick update before I carry on. Uh, I've tacked in the patch panel there, but I've made it a bit short. So instead of remaking the patch panel a bit longer, I'm just gonna shave down that little bit there and we'll put a filler piece in there and join that up. And while I've been at it, I've drilled out these two rust holes instead of cutting the whole section out. So it wasn't too bad with, uh, well, I've drilled out the rust and we'll make little pieces to go in there. And uh, we've cleaned up the back of that. We'll make the pieces up, we'll stick them in. And we're all good. Let's continue on. I have made the uh, patch panels for these bits and uh, we have the little added on extra that goes in that section there. And we have this funny little shape here that goes in there. And then if you wanna know what difficult is, try grinding out out of a piece of steel, a 10 millimeter hole, which then goes in to that one there. And this one here is searching for something. What's up, Zena? What are you looking for? Goodbye. So, we'll get those uh, tacked in and weld them in. Those three pieces are successfully tacked in. One, two, three. Yeah. We'll see you on the other side when they're welded in. But, uh, I'm going to put my new shed, so shed sign on the wall properly, up uh, there on that uh, wooden panel, I think. And I made that at work on the uh, CNC machine. Tell me what you think of it. Okay, that's up. And for all to enjoy, back to business. Welding and grinding back is done. It doesn't look the prettiest at the moment, but we'll get a thin film of filler on that and we'll be looking sweet. So let's do that. Well, it's humid as hell today, and that's gone hard already. So, we're gonna get rid of that, mix up a little bit more, and continue on with the butter. Butter, butter, butter.
think we got everything. Uh, that's gone off again. Uh, so you can go off pretty quick. That was six minutes worth of life in that and I hardly put any uh, hardener in it. Well, we'll fully wait for that to harden and we'll sand it off and we'll see you then. All right. I have sanded down with 60 grit to get rid of the uh, big chunky bits. Now I'm gonna hit it with 180 and then probably a 240, maybe a 400, and we'll call that good. Update time. That is fully sanded back and ready for etch prime, but I found a piece a few holes of rust in the bootlick channel there and I tried to buzz them up and they just went straight through so we've cut out a section there and that's ready to weld in so we'll get that welded in and hopefully no more dramas and we are in etch prime around the rear quarter so we are done for this side of the beaver panel. Here we go around here. We have the quarter in etch as well. So all up, I think this side took me about 50 hours. So not quite as long as the last video, but still a very lengthy process. Uh, so total hours for pretty much the back of the car is uh, around 100 hours work in that, so. And uh, do you like the uh, little glove on the uh, exhaust? exhaust? Uh, we're not keeping that on exhaust anyway, but I thought I'd cover the chrome tip. You never know. So, yes, very lengthy process. That's why body work, I'm assuming, costs so much to do if you want to pay for it. And there's our uh, rust repair come up all right for the uh, boot channel there. And I managed to clean up you know, a little bit of that pitting that was in there. So that's turned out all right. The uh, edge prime's still a little uh, wet, so it's still a little shiny. So it's still, uh, it looks worse than what it actually is. But yeah, so that's turned out all right. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, join me next time for another enthralling episode of rust repair probably but until then ciao ciao